Strawberry Hill, we use a program called H2A. Um, so we bring uh, farm workers in on a work visa program and they can come to our farm for 10 months out of the year. We are fully aware that we could not operate without them. Um, these guys, I, I don't have any brothers, but if I were to have brothers, I got 140 of them. Um, they, they treat this farm like it is theirs. A little more color, guys. The workers on our farm are, are more than workers. They're like family to us. They've been here for a long time, and, and they just have such a sense of pride and loyalty. You know, there's a lot of other families here. There's probably 150 other families here, possibly 200 families here that depend on this place to, for their families. Farming is hard work, and finding labor to do the hard work is challenging. And we use the H2A program, which is great. We get the same workers every year. Uh, a lot of these men have been here a lot longer than I have. And I actually lean on them a lot. I learn a lot from those guys. To earn their respect, I feel like I have to be willing to work with them, not just telling them what to do, but actually helping them get it done. My dad, is he's very careful to make sure that we, you know, treat, treat all of our workers, whether they're top of the tier or they're just driving a truck. It's all, it's all the same job. We need everybody. Our farm pretty much started um, in the early 1900s with my great-grandfather. Um, it eventually was handed off some of the land to my, to my grandfather, Gene Cooley, um, who then started a peach farm with his brother. And um, my dad eventually um, joined into the business as soon as he finished high school. Today, my father farms about 800 acres of peaches um, with my sister um, Bethany and I. We have 105 acres of strawberries and we do a lot of row crops and other things, but strawberries and peaches are our main operation. You know, my mom and dad are the hardest working people that I know and that is something that they have really drilled into um, his four girls, which I'm the youngest of four. My daddy did not have any sons, and, um, but he raised some pretty hard working daughters, I believe. I think when you own your own business, you never rest. You are always thinking about what you've got to do next, or, you know, what's, what's got to be to keep things on top of things. And we could not run this farm without our family. What does it mean to work with my family each day? Well, it's a blessing. I mean, you know, how many other people get to do that? Not very many people. But the family means everything. That's why we work for, you know what I'm saying? Got grandchildren coming up, and uh, it ain't all about me. It's all about keeping it going. We've got many different entities within our farm right now. Um, you know, we have our actual farming part where we're growing our peaches and strawberries and our vegetables. Um, but we also have a restaurant on site that we um, that we added back in 2001. We have ice cream parlor. Um, we have our retail market in Gaffney. To see the public stop here and come under our open air market and buy these products that we grow and keep coming back year after year after year. Uh, it says you're doing something right. I think it's important to, for people to understand where their food comes from. Um, to, to know that there are people behind those peaches <laughs> they're picking up off the rack. A lot of kids think that food comes from a grocery store and they don't have any idea of the hard work that goes into it. The, the expenses that go into it. We, um, we're very fortunate we get to do field trips, you know, two times during the year. And, you know, when you're looking at a, a five-year-old and they're staring at this strawberry on a plant and they're just in shock. You know, it's, it's not just growing the things, it's the labor and getting, getting it harvested. Um, so the children, when they get on this tractor and they get out in the strawberry field or the pumpkin field, they're able to see people working hard. They're not going to an eight to five job five days a week. It's seven days a week, sun up to sun down those days. And um, so it's, it's, it's really enlightening, not only for our children that step foot on the farm, but the parents.
being part of a family farm, you know, you have to make a conscious effort every day when you wake up to make sure you're making the correct decisions, not only for the business, but for your family. I don't really feel like it's ever been an option to give up. And we have, we have to make a, a choice to be resilient through every situation that is thrown at us. If we decide to hang our hat up and the next farm decides to hang their hat up, you know, if we, if we decide to stop, where's that food gonna come from? A lot of people look at the farmer during, during the harvest season. The struggles of a farmer don't typically get seen by the public. You have to have pretty strong nerves to be a farmer. You know, every year in farming is a challenging year. Something is always gonna go wrong, and that's something I've, over the past eight years, have become very accustomed to. Just hang on tight and just hope for the best. But this year's been exceptional. Out of our 140 guys that we've had working for us, we've had a third of them go home. And that's something we are not, we've never had to deal with. And so that's been an adjustment in itself because we now have crops in the fields that we cannot harvest. We'll have to plow them up. And we've never had to do that before. So what we're gonna do is get ready for another year and we'll plant and prosper and, and keep everybody in the right mood. And um, all the workers right now, everybody in the mind city is every morning, you know, hey, look, let's get through this year, let's persevere and make it till next year because next year will be better. In farming, you're gonna see some great years and it's gonna look good. And then you're gonna see those years that it just, it takes it out of you, but, but you remember those good years, you know, and that's what agriculture is about. It's, it's about working hard and, um, and doing it with your heart. You know, the American farmer, you know, they're the backbone of America. And, um, you know, it's, it's what makes everything go, and it takes a lot of other things to make things go, but if there's no food, then we're going to be in trouble. So let's keep it in America and um, keep looking up.